We'll explore the two primary phases of bipolar disorder, mania and depression. These phases are the hallmarks of this mental health condition, often causing those affected to experience dramatic fluctuations in mood, energy, and behavior. As we dive deeper into the nuances of bipolar disorder, let's take a closer look at mania. Hey, how are you feeling, Carrie? Is it tie-in? Are we going? Going? To work? We gotta hop to. We gotta haul ass to Langley. They have to understand Saul. His ears, movements in green, after fallow yellow, always creeping towards purple, are methodical. Okay, I'm gonna get you a bit more out of van to settle you down. I don't need to settle down. Tell him! Oh, I'll tell him. Harry, you're not yourself. Of course I am. No. I can't follow you. You're talking very fast. Your thoughts are running together. All these ideas, I can't understand. Pay attention to his exaggerated self-confidence and rapid speech, which are common symptoms during a manic episode. We had pancakes? What fucking time did you get up? About five. You didn't get back from work until three. Yeah, I went for a run this morning. I have a ton of energy. Oh, check. Hey, man. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Debbie, oh my gosh, you look great. Thank you. You do too. Uh, just my brother and sister. Th th this is family. They want to arrest you for going AWOL, stealing government property. It's top shelf. No, hey, did, did you hear me? They, they say you stole a helicopter. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I didn't steal anything. I just started the rotors. Hey, can you guys hang around for a while? My shift gets off at 2, but I always go out after or hit the local gym, depending on how pumped I am. But seeing you guys, I, I just, I feel great, you know? In the scene featuring Ion and his numerous new projects, we get a glimpse of how mania can significantly impact decision making. People experiencing a manic episode often feel invincible and may take on substantial life decisions without fully considering the consequences. This can lead to disastrous effects on their personal and professional lives, as well as the well-being of those around them. The Army. I enlisted. The Army? Yeah, I wanted to find myself, didn't think I could do it here. Oh. Don't you have to be 18? Don't know, don't care. I left. Stuff got nuts. What stuff? Oh, military trying to control me. Well, isn't that what the military does? Got sick of it, but hey, I met some amazing folks. Got all these great ideas. I'm, I'm a different person. Hey, but we can talk about that later, right? Sure. Tennis shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, yeah great. Why? Uh, you seem a little caffeinated. So, what's next for you? Oh, I'm, I've been thinking about apprenticing with this electrician I met. You know, learn how to wire stuff. What about high school? Oh, Frank finished high school. Worked out great for him. You have to finish it. I don't have to do anything. I'm done living the way other people want me to live. Mom, Mom I can't find my wedding video. Mom, wake up. What is it? Where's my wedding video? It's yeah. after three o'clock. What are you doing? I look in here, but this is all your shit up here for your sewing and everything. Did you well, put it up what here? What about in, in your closet study? Don't go in my study. Dad, my fucking wedding video. Dad, Dad, I got a wedding video. I looked over there. I already looked all over there. Now, let's shift our focus to the depressive episodes that can occur in bipolar disorder. The episodes can also last from a few days to several months. As we watch Ian's depressive episode unfold, take note of the stark contrast in his behavior compared to his previous manic state. He's now overwhelmed with sadness, fatigue, and a lack of interest in the things he once enjoyed. Imagine Tommy is to get a dog. Mandy said she watched the baby meat for a while. Yo, sleepy face. Get your ass up, man. Time to roll. What's that, Mumbles? Come on, get up. I'm buying. Hey, hey, you okay? You feeling sick or something? Maybe a little. All right, you want me to bring you back something to eat? During Ian's isolation, 
we witness the profound impact depression can have on one's social life. Friends and family may feel helpless, unsure of how to support their loved one. It's crucial to remember that empathy and understanding can make all the difference during these difficult times. Yo, it's after five. You trying to set some sort of record? You're not still sleeping. Get up. Leave me alone. Ian, are you high? You take something? Call away. Okay, you want me to call the club at least and Jesus, tell them? Jesus, leave me alone! In this section of the video, we explore the creativity often associated with individuals who have bipolar disorder. Many talented artists and performers have been diagnosed with this condition, and their extraordinary abilities often shine through in their work. In the film A Star is Born, we witness the incredible musical talent of the main character, played by Bradley Cooper. His character experiences intense emotional highs and lows, and channels these emotions into powerful and moving performances. Similarly, the film Vincent and Theo portrays the life of the renowned painter Vincent van Gogh, who is believed to have suffered from bipolar disorder. Van Gogh's extraordinary artistic abilities were accompanied by periods of deep depression and mania, which ultimately led to his tragic death. Yet, his incredible legacy as an artist endures to this day. As we explore the creativity often associated with individuals who have bipolar disorder, it is important to note that creativity and mental health are not always linked. There are many talented artists and performers who do not have any mental health conditions, just as there are those with bipolar disorder who may not exhibit exceptional creative abilities. In this section, we'll explore some common misconceptions and stereotypes about bipolar disorder portrayed in popular media. By examining these portrayals, we can better understand the reality of living with this condition and challenge the stigma that many people with bipolar disorder face. In Garden State, the main character mentions his parents thought he was dangerous due to his mental health condition. This scene highlights the false belief that people with bipolar disorder are inherently dangerous. In reality, most people with bipolar disorder are not dangerous and can lead. Fulfilling lives with proper treatment and support this clip from Empire demonstrates the family's misunderstanding of bipolar disorder when they dismiss bipolar disorder as a white person problem. Bipolar disorder affects people of all races and backgrounds. I just in, 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 in music therapy, whatever this is, that's white people problems. See, because my baby's strong. He's a lion. He can beat anything. No, this isn't a white person thing, Cookie. I was diagnosed my junior year in college. That was when he had his first psychotic break. A common misconception about individuals with bipolar disorder is that they are always in a state of instability, constantly cycling between mania and depression. However, this is far from the truth. Many people with bipolar disorder experience long periods of euthymia, a stable emotional state where they function just like anyone else. You might even know someone with bipolar disorder without ever realizing it, as they may not exhibit any obvious symptoms during their euthymic periods. The first step towards managing bipolar disorder is getting a proper diagnosis from a medical professional who can then prescribe appropriate medication and treatment. How are you feeling? In the scene where Ian talks to the doctor, we are reminded that bipolar disorder has a genetic dimension. Having a family member with bipolar disorder increases the lilyhood of developing the condition. However, it is essential to remember that environmental factors and life experiences also contribute to the onset and progression of this mental health condition. I don't want to hear this, Ian, but you show signs of bipolar disorder. With proper medication, it can be managed, but you need to participate in your treatment. Why don't we talk again tomorrow? There are several types of medications that can help manage bipolar disorder, including mood stabilizers, antipsychotics, and antidepressants. It's crucial to work closely with your healthcare provider to find the right combination for your specific needs. What meds are you on? I used to be on lithium and Seroquel and Abilify, but they make me foggy and they also make me bloated. Yeah, I was on Xanax and Effexor, but I agree it wasn't as sharp. You ever take Clonopin? Klonopin, yeah. Right? Jesus. Like, is it what? Yeah. What day is it? 
How about trazodone? Trazodone. Oh, it <laughs> flattens you out. I mean, you are done. It takes the light right out of your eyes. Kind of better. Alternative and complementary treatments, such as psychotherapy, electroconvulsive therapy, and even music therapy can also play a significant role in managing bipolar disorder. This honest and vulnerable moment highlights the importance of seeking support and understanding from loved ones. I'm bipolar. Really? Yes. I have been since I was 15. But I have incredibly low periods. So low that I can barely move. I am impossible to be around. I uh, can barely answer the phone. I'm totally unreliable as a friend. If you or someone you know is struggling with bipolar disorder, don't hesitate to seek help from a mental health professional. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to MindFilm for more insightful cinematic content on mental health.